okay okay so what is going to work is that people see the French language version. So I think I think that if you want, I should host it. So I asked the question in English, but you all answer in French. That sounds good to me. Because that way there is con continuity between the groups. Um, so, uh, I guess that if you can introduce me to a couple of um, happy to speak English female influencers, uh, people you know who've got like 30,000 followers or something like that, because I've got, I've only got like 3,000 followers. I hardly, hardly anyone looks at my stuff. Um, so, yeah, if we could get a couple of women okay. and yeah. I could, okay. we, we could all chat together, then... I could find someone who's got so much... Um... I've got to think about it because I don't, I don't know anybody who's got so many uh, connections. Okay, well, it doesn't necessarily need to be that many connections, but people... So... The younger you are, as a woman in business on LinkedIn or what have you, the younger you are, the more likely you are to suffer the emotional pain of, oh, I need you, I'm, a, I'm this, give me money, uh, all of that crap. And they're also least likely to complain about sexual abuse. So we need to find French women and... Okay, so as a British person, we have a stereotype of French marriages, the man has a mistress. That's the sort of running joke, yeah? Um, which is based in some truth, but is clearly not actually true. So it will be interesting to see if that stereotype informs women's girl young women's perception of this sexual abuse so if they're getting chatted up or if they're getting a man sending pictures of of his genitals they go oh well you know french men are french men do they rationalize it like that yeah, that might be... Um, that's a good question that's a, to ask a group. That's in, it, yeah, that's a, that's a question, yeah, because uh, that's something... Um, as a French woman, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, of course, and I've never heard about that. Mm. Okay. Only well, only English can, can say things like that about French. <laughs> yeah, but don't forget we're roast beef, so, you know. <laughs> uh, and you're you going to fight. Yeah, but the thing is, you see... Other love... British guys, yeah. they're just jealous. <laughs> oh, dear. The best enemies in the yeah. world. <laughs> okay, well, look, um, I will... Hmm, what can we do? What can we do? Um, so I tell you what we can do actually is I'll do a post on social me to the page and the group and uh, I'll forward it to Gazelle to go on the Facebook group in English saying social me to France hashtag it with French France French speaking French women in business whatever it is um and we could do a little thing on that, which I could do sort of next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, and then... Do you need any translation whatsoever? What, yeah. And just then, let me know. So I'll clip out the bit of you speaking. So we make that the appeal that goes with that. So we go, I look like nothing, you realise, because I was <laughs> not even prepared. I went just... Hey, listen... Being prepared is not what I'm about. What I'm about is people feeling comfortable to share their truth. 
because that's the problem. People have got it in the palm of their, women have got it in the palm of their hand. It's personal, it's close contact. It's like having someone leer at you drunk, but right up there. That, that's the kind of, ugh, that's the kind of recoil that I feel thinking about it from your perspective. So, um, yeah, uh, if you can find three or four women from France, uh, and then we'll, we'll do a show and then you've got content to upload. What you can do as well is now that you're an admin for social me too page, you're a super admin, you can invite connections to follow. There's a bit on the page on the right hand side. Yeah. So you can now invite, I think it's a hundred per month if people accept and then they'll see that. Um, and then if you set up the Facebook group after we speak, message me with the link. And then I've got that link to put in the post when we do it on, on, uh, when I do it on Monday or Tuesday. And, um, if you want, so I think that the, it will be better to have the video of you speaking in French as a pinned video, the thing that everyone sees, but then what you can do if you want is you can copy any of the posts. If you were to copy all of the posts on the social me too, the conversations we've had so far, so that when French women join the group, they can see other people, other victims like themselves. So victims are a bit of a strong word because they don't feel like they're victims, but they're being victimized um, by yeah. these men. So um, they need to really see that other people are, are, are safe to share. And then, um, yeah, as soon as you get some people together and I, listen, I say, I say women, it's not all men by any stretch. It's a small percentage of men, I think, who are evil. It's a bigger percentage of men who are trying their luck. And it's a slightly bigger percentage of men who are just awkward. But probably we're only up to, we're probably only up to 50%. I agree. Yeah. So yeah, if you- I agree with them. Yeah. Because many of them, they will just stop when you tell them to stop. Yeah. So, you know, they're really trying. Um, I think I have to block one. Mm -hmm. 